and welcome back to another video of my 3D graphing calculator, Minecraft. Since the last version I released about two years ago, I've made significant changes to the calculator. The main change is that instead of using a fixed decimal system, which could only represent up to 20 million with two decimal points, it now uses a 32-bit floating point system, which has around seven significant figures and goes up to something like 10 to the 38. I've been working on my floating point data pack for a while now and thought it would be perfect to add to my 3D graphing calculator to show it off. Floating point numbers in this data pack are computed software-wise, so the computations are slower than the previous implementation. But because I've used a new parsing algorithm and optimized things here and there, the new calculator is much faster than the previous version. The current version does around 8,000 floating point operations per second, which is about 100 times faster than a TI-84 calculator. This calculator doesn't have internet access, so maybe you can bring it into, uh, bring it into your exams instead of uh, TI-84. And while working on this data pack, I ended up adding a few additional functions, such as the inverse of all trigonometric functions, as well as, uh, as, well as floor, ceiling, truncate, uh, inverse square root, and e to the x. All the previously added functions are still here such as uh, exponentiation, logarithms, uh, uh, root to any base, all the trig functions, and uh, the basic uh, arithmetic, uh, arithmetic operators. Additionally, as constants, I've added pi and uh, Euler's number. Over here, I can load one of the pre-made functions, or I can write my own function, save it here, uh, I'll give it a name, and load it. If I wanted, uh, I can delete it too. Uh, but for for demonstration, I will uh, load. Actually, actually, load. Uh, I'll load this one. Sphere and a hyperboloid. So uh, in the control panel, most features should be pretty obvious. There's a sign explaining it. I have added this render positive and negative. Uh, option for if you want to render something like a full sphere rather than a semi-sphere. And I've also added a huge graph option uh, uh, since uh, the graphing calculator is much faster so you actually have it'll actually like, graph the whole thing. Uh, so that's an option if you want. So let's graph the function I just chose. Uh, I'm going to render positive and negative. And uh, before I graph it, a new function, uh, something new I've added to this volume version of the map is a magic wand which lets you do many things uh, such as it can press levers and press buttons so I can start graphing by right clicking this yeah that's a sphere and a hyperboloid another thing it can do is that let's go here uh, when you look at a block, uh, when you look at a graph block using this, it can actually give you data. So if you look on the action bar right here, it tells you the x coordinate, the y coordinate, which is, uh, I guess, the value of the function evaluated at those coordinates and the z coordinate. What you can do is, if you hold down shift, you can actually uh, make it smoother, so it doesn't, it doesn't lock to a block. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And, and another feature is that uh, you can pick blocks with it. So uh, if you look at, uh, let's say I wanted a plus sign, I can right click it and then it'll be added to my inventory. This, com this comes in pretty useful when you're writing as uh, that will appear and you can just pick the blocks you want. And additionally, uh, this magic wand replaces the nudge feature. Uh, that was in the previous version of the calculator. So now you can just right click an equation and you can move it like that. Uh, there's no limit to how far you can move it and uh, yeah you can yeah it's, it's pretty fun to play around with and uh, yeah you can just put it back if you want or maybe you're missing a bracket here or you want to multiply something instead. Uh, yeah you can do that. And well, uh, that's about it. If you're going to share this, please credit by leaving a link to this video and my channel name, which uh, you can see, uh, which you can see as instructions over here. Uh, and well, 
I hope you found this interesting and, and thank you for watching.